What you must understand about the world in general is it's very business and money motivated, okay? And I want to give you this kind of mindset that I have is you do not need anything external for your body to function in the most optimal way. Does that make sense? So when guys ask me, what is my skincare routine? You know, how do you have such clear skin? And I'm not saying this to boast, like, oh, look how good my skin is. But genuinely, it's something that guys struggle with. I've spoke to guys in real life as well in the gym and they say, yeah, you know, I would be confident, but I've got, I've got acne, I've got all these spots, I've got dry skin and I just can't do anything about it. What's the problem? And I feel for them, I really do, because I, well, I've never had acne or nothing. I've never had crazy levels of spots, but I did, you know, I did break out a lot and I had a bit, a bit of dry skin and I've learned a lot from this, right? The number one thing that you must stop doing, and this is very important, if you, if you keep doing this, bro, you can... You can your skin's never going to improve. You can use all the products in the world, but your skin's never going to improve. And it's products. The moisturizer, the shit that you're putting on your, on your skin, right? Rubbing it in all the time. It strips away your natural oils. Like I said before, your body does not need that. It doesn't. It's business. It's money. And it keeps you in a never-ending cycle of buying the product over and over again because it temporarily fixes your issue. Oh, my skin looks smooth now because I've put moisturizer on it. And then guess what? It just dries it out again because it strips away the natural oils. So there's a process that you must go through in order to get good skin. And this is the only skincare video you'll ever have to watch in your entire life. Because every other single one tells you, buy this, buy my product, buy my merch, buy <laughs> that's trying to sell you stuff. Or it's always, you have to have this product, this product. No, you don't. I have no problems with my skin at all, at all. Completely smooth, no, you know, spots or nothing, no dry skin, completely fine. And guys ask me, oh, please, please tell me what products do you use? What moisturizer do you use? What's your skincare routine? I wake up in the morning and I wash my face with water and I crack on. That's it. There we go. Video ended. Right? Obviously, I'm not going to end it here because it goes a bit deeper than that. But that's pretty much all I do. That is my skincare routine. Now, obviously, there are some habits that you do on your day-to-day -day basis that will fuck up your skin. Now, well, one of them is putting products on your skin. Just stop with that. You do not need products. Your body has everything that it needs if this is number two. You're living your life in the most healthiest and optimal way possible. Now, I know, obviously, you can't, you don't really want to live like a monk. Oh, I'm not going to eat that chocolate bar because my skin, you know, sometimes you're going to do things. And again, I get spot, look, there's a spot around there, bro, somewhere. <laughs> Maybe it's on the other side. Can you see it? I think it's around here. Obviously, I get spots too. I'm a human being. Obviously, I do things that will sacrifice the way my, my body responds, okay? Obviously, yeah, I'm going to eat shit sometimes. I'm going to have takeaways sometimes. I don't drink, so that's something that is, you know, is, is quite beneficial. I don't drink anymore. I used to. I've never done drugs in my life. I don't smoke, so obviously that helps. There's, your lifestyle setup is what is the most important. You must understand that your health is paramount. It comes before anything else because you can use all the products in the world. If you then go out and drink, and get wasted on the weekend, you're eating shit foods on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? When you're in the gym and you're sweating and you've got your hands and you wipe the sweat and you're putting your fingers on your face, like that, bro, you're wiping it away. Bacteria from your fingers is going on your skin. No wonder you're getting spotty. You know, it's little things like this. I'm gonna break it down in depth so you can remember this kind of stuff. Your skin is gonna be perfect. I promise you, not literally perfect. You might have a couple of spots every now and then, but you'll know it's because, right, it's because I've been eating some shit food. What you must understand is spots on your face is your body's way of healing itself from the inside. That's what it is. It's, it's the way, if, it's the skin healing itself. So if you've eaten shit recently, I'm sorry, bro, dead hairs. If you've eaten shit recently, if you've been eating a lot, of, a lot of salt, a lot of crisps and shit, a lot of sugar, a lot of chocolate, you've been drinking alcohol, you've been damaging your body in one way or another. You've been sitting inside all day, not getting any daylight, not getting any sunlight. Now I live in the UK. But if it's cloudy like this, half an hour of just being exposed to the daylight will make a big difference. Get outside. And I know I'm brushing over things, but I'm going to break it down in the process. So we're not using products anymore. You've, you've gotten rid of all your moisturizers, all your skincare routine. You've gotten rid of all of that. Get rid of it. You don't need it. Okay, that's number one. Once you've done that, health. Health is absolutely paramount. That actually probably comes first. Make sure that your lifestyle is very, very healthy. Stop, you know, if your skin and the way that you look means something to you, then sacrifice the fun and the pleasure of smoking cigarettes, of drinking, of eating shit, of wiping your fucking face when you're in the gym. Little things like this, you know, not washing your face. Why do you think you're spotty? You never wash your face. This is what my skincare routine consists of, right? 
I wake up in the morning and I wash my face with just water. I never put anything in my hair, in my hair, excuse me. <clears throat> my voice is still a bit fucked from last night. I never put any, anything <clears throat> in my hair and on my skin. No gels, no moisturizer, no products. It's hard being a YouTuber when your voice is the main thing that you use to, to showcase yourself. If I lose my voice, I'm fucked, bro. The money's gone. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't pay the bills. <laughs> I don't put anything on my skin. I don't put anything on my hair. No gel, no no products. We understand that? Okay. I wake up, wash my face with water. I get rid of all the dry, the sleep around my eyes, all the dry skin. I have a flannel. I just scrub my face. That's it. When I'm sweating, I wipe my face, wash my face with water. After the gym, wash my face. Before I go to bed, wash my That's it. I just wash my face. I keep myself hygienic and healthy. That is literally it. That's all you have to do. Live a healthy lifestyle. Okay. Eat clean. Drink loads of water, plenty of daylight, plenty of sunlight without sun cream, okay? Because you need that natural sun, the sun rays on your skin without the protection to get the nutrients, to get the vitamin D, okay? And to get the goodness from it. There's plenty of health benefits from you getting some daylight on your skin and in your eyes, okay? Literally in your eyes. Don't stare at the sun, obviously, but just get it shining in your eyes, okay? So plenty of health benefits. Boost testosterone, boost melanin. Melanin? I can never say that word. Melanin levels. Good for your immune system. It's just good for you. Good for your, your entire body. Helps you sleep better. So yeah, get outside. You're sitting indoors all day on your phone. Why do you think you've got bad skin, bro? Be outside. That's why all my videos are in nature. I want to subconsciously feed it into you that you should be outside. Every time you watch a Luke Spurgeon video, you're like, ah, you know what? I feel like going for a walk. Good. Because you're going to get some daylight and your skin's going to repay you for it. Your body repays you for your actions. If you live an unhealthy lifestyle, and you don't need me to tell you, you're intelligent. You don't need me to tell you what's healthy, what's unhealthy. Don't drink, don't smoke, don't do drugs. Don't eat shit takeaway and sugar and you know processed foods. Very, very simple. And if you are gonna do these things, each to their own. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying you can't do them, but in terms of your skin and your health and the way that your body functions, if this is a priority for you, then you've got to sacrifice some of the, the quick pleasures. You've got to sacrifice some of that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, cold showers, things like this, again, heat strips away. It doesn't strip away. Heat dries out your skin, right? It dries it out. And dries out your hair as well, you know? So if you're having hot showers regularly, you'll find that your skin starts getting greasy or dry or spotty, okay? So heat has its benefits. It really does. Heat is good for curing infections. It's good for clearing wounds. Of course, heat does have its benefits. It's not useless. But I find that taking cold showers, I only ever take cold showers. I only take a hot shower if it's the end of the day and I have time and I want to kind of wind down for bed, get myself in that relaxed state, I'll take a hot shower. But for the most part, my showers are just cold all the time because it's good for your skin. You know, it's, it, the heat, the heat is the problem. The absence of the heat is why cold showers are good. So when people say cold showers are good for your skin, but there's no scientific proven benefits for why, the reason for that is because it's not the cold shower itself that's good for you. It's the absence of the heat that's good for you. The heat is bad for your skin. Heat on your skin just dries out your skin. So keep that in mind, okay? Take cold showers, plenty of daylight, get outside more, drink loads of water, sleep well. Of course, you know this shit. Exercise. When you do sweat, don't wipe it. It's a military tactic. In the military, if you're doing the, the, the exercises and then you run drill, you have to stand there. When it's dripping down the face they're not allowed to wipe it because if it's hygienic as well it's just genuine hygiene reasons if they wipe it the whole squad gets a bollocking okay stop wiping your sweat with your dirty hands wash your hands first then wash your face after okay or if you are gonna wipe it bro the thing is the way i see it is if i'm in the gym and i'm working out and i'm sweating loads and oh, it's really annoying because i'm sweating you're gonna sweat more anyway if you've wiped it you're just gonna sweat again you should, uh, do you know what i'm saying so until you finish the workout don't worry about how much you're sweating. It's a sign of hard work. Great. Let it drip down your face. Embrace it. Get in that kind of warrior mindset. Like, right, let's go. Yeah, and it also it's good for your skin. Now, with that being said, I want to touch on something to just end the video. So we've covered all, you know, the, the products, the, the lifestyle setup, the health, all the little things you can do to just improve your skin. I understand some guys are going to come in my comments and say, but what if you have acne? I'm a teenager and I've got acne. Now, Obviously, yeah, look at your lifestyle, look at your health. These things probably don't, they probably don't do you any good if you live in an unhealthy lifestyle and you have acne. 
probably not doing you any good if you're going out drinking. It's probably just increasing it, it's enhancing it because your hormones are all out of whack. When you're a teenager and you're going through puberty, your hormones are all over the place. Your testosterone is through the roof. Hence why you've got acne. It's like when you take steroids. Acne is a symptom. It's a side effect of the steroid, of steroids, right? Because your testosterone is so high, I guess that's just the way your body responds to it. Now, use that to your advantage. If you're living a healthy lifestyle, if you're doing the things that I've told you in this video, you're not putting shit on your skin, you're getting outside, getting plenty of daylight, health, you're just, you're just a healthy guy. And you have this mindset of like, right, okay, my acne is probably going to clear up if I live this healthy lifestyle. And if it doesn't, then I know that I'm just in the process of going through puberty. It's normal. Okay, some guys get it, some guys won't. Embrace it. It just means you have more testosterone than you'll ever have. Get in the gym. Use it to your advantage. Build a body. Yeah, use that as a positive. It's not a negative. Use it. Right, it clearly just shows I've got so much testosterone, my body's responding like this. Let me get myself in the gym, build a good body, and before I know it, the acne will clear up anyway, and I'll be fine. Yeah, as you get older, the acne, acne just goes away, as long as you're not living a unhealthy lifestyle. Like I said, it's just health. That's what it comes down to, health. You do not need products. You don't need to buy shit. Your body was not put on this earth in need of some sort of fucking man-made, manufactured product. It wasn't in need of that. Your body has everything that it needs. If you're feeding it with the vitamins, the minerals, and you live in a lifestyle that allows your body to respond in the most optimal way, your body will repay you and you'll look good. People comment on my skin all the time. And again, I'm not saying this to boast, but they do. Girls do it. They touch my skin. Oh, you got such smooth skin. You know what I mean? It's nice to have nice skin. So stop lying to yourself and like, oh, well, I don't care anyway. I don't care what anyone thinks. Yes, you do, mate. You do care. And it's good that you care. It's a natural intrinsic desire for you to care what other people think. So make sure that you use that desire and use it as fuel to do the right things. To stop smoking because, oh, I don't care what anyone thinks. Mate, look at the state of you. And I'm not saying this to be mean, but you know that you're better than this. So learn what you've, uh, apply what you've learned in this video. Go forward now with a positive mindset and prioritize your health over everything. If that's something that you're interested in, if you want to be the best version of yourself, your health has to be prioritized over things like drinking. Like I don't drink anymore because now I prioritize my health over the quick pleasure of oh, having fun. And for other reasons, like I, don't, I just don't need alcohol anymore. I'm a confident social guy. I just don't need it. You know, there's no, literally no point for me to drink. I can have so much fun anywhere being sober. And I think that's just down to my mindset. That's a different video. We'll get into that one day. But yeah, with that being said, take that, learn from it. And if it's something you want to learn on a more personal level, anything at all, it's not just for skincare, whether it's your dress sense, whether it's talking to women, your porn addiction, playing video games, staying consistent on self-improvement, whatever it is that you're struggling with, you know, you wake up every morning and you think about this one negative thing. It puts you in a negative mindset for the rest of the day. This is why you feel this, this void, this unfulfilled potential, because you're focusing on negativity and you know that you could be better than this. And the way that you do that is through a positive network. Talking to a positive, like-minded individual will literally change your life. And I want to be that guy for you. I'm not a therapist. I'm not going to sit there with my arms crossed and hmm, judging you. It's a, it's a personal, man-to-man -man friend chat. Like the best friend that you never had. Who can you go to in your real life and talk to? You know, mate, uh, sorry, Dylan. You know, I'm struggling with porn, bro. You know, can you help me? He's going to laugh at you. <laughs> porn, it's normal, lad. Don't worry, have a wank, you'll be all right. Do you know what I mean? Like, who can you go over to to talk to about this kind of stuff in real life? It's very rare that you'll have someone like that. That's why I created the channel, that's why I'm here. So the coaching's down below in the description. Come and talk to me for an hour. Don't forget about the money. Again, guys value money. They're like, oh, well, it's this much. It's this. Stop valuing money. Value the network, value the knowledge, value the information, because it doesn't matter how much money you have. If you won the lottery today, but you had a broke mindset, you had a negative mindset, it doesn't matter how much money you've got, it's not going to save you from who you truly are. It's going to amplify who you truly are. So stop valuing the money and value the network, the investment, the positive energy that we can share. That's much more valuable and that will take you further to the point where you can 10 times the money anyway that you spent. So talk to me for an hour. Guaranteed, you'll be a new man. See you there, lad.